Hi, here we are aboard the Windsurf. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm uh, the captain of the Windsurf, uh, Pedro Pinto from uh, Portugal, and I'm with uh, Windsurf for uh, 40 years by now. For 40 years? 40 years, yes. Uh, tell us like, what you've done in the past for Windsurf. What kind of roles? Well, uh, with Windstar, uh, I sailed on the Windstar and the Wind Spirit. So I did uh, all already Mediterranean, uh, Costa Rica and Panama, uh, Tahiti. I took the Wind Spirit for the first time when uh, Windstar went back to Tahiti. So more or less, I did uh, all the itineraries with uh, Windstar. Uh, a lot of people are really interested in the windsurf, you know, and the sailing, uh, yes. the mass. Why don't you just tell us a little, little bit about windsurf? Well, the, of course, this is a, a unique uh, cruise uh, ship because with the sails, uh, it's something different uh, from the market. We have others with sails, but not exactly in the same uh, segment and the same uh, category. Uh, and of course, uh, seeing the sails up, and uh, it, it's a different feeling that you don't find on a normal uh, cruise ship. So you have many things in the market, small, big, but nothing like uh, Windstar with a, with a sail, especially. Yeah. Uh, well, why don't you just tell folks uh, how you combine wind power and traditional kind of engine power? Well, of course, uh, this is uh, what we call a sail-assisted yacht, so we cannot uh, tack or, uh, or go around like a normal sailing boat, also because we need to go from A to B in a certain time, so we have an itinerary to, to follow. Uh, and, but of course, if the wind is in the right direction and the speed required allows, we stop the engine and have only the sails. So that is really a, a fantastic moment uh, because for this one, almost 15,000 tons under uh, sails only, it's something unique. Mm. Uh, but of course, to comply with that in the ready, uh, sometimes we need uh, the engine also. So a combination of both. And this is one of the attractions of Windsor for a lot of the guests, right? They, they're just um, intrigued by the, the sails and being on a ship yes. like this. It's uh, of course the sails and also the open door policy around the bridge. So the guests can come here day and night, except when we are in port and interact with, uh, with the officers, uh, check by themselves where we are, the radar, the, the charts. So this is the only company I know. Uh, allowing a uh, open door policy um, and this becomes a uh, like a small family interacting with uh, with all the, the services here on board so they feel at home we have many many guests uh, who are sailing uh, or sail so for them is also a different way to see uh, a bigger ship uh, how we operate how we sail right so, do you also interact a lot with the guests during a sailing? Yes, yes, and of course this size of the uh, ship allows that. Um, we can interact easily, we are always around and visible, uh, so it's not like on a bigger ship that you meet someone in the first day and you don't see anymore for the rest of the week. So here we are always around or having a coffee downstairs, informal, uh, so it's really like a, a group of friends sailing, uh, sailing around the world. Uh, does the captain of a ship like this actually get off um, at various ports and in, enjoy himself a little bit? Yes, of course. We have always uh, to find some time also to be mentally in good conditions. Of course, we need to go out and, uh, and relax a little bit. And also it's a way uh, to see the places we visit so we can give that uh, information to, the, to our guests also. We can go also on the tours so to see if uh, we are giving of course the, the best product we can uh, also a way to interact with uh, with our guests um, so we have time to do lot definitely what's your favorite port of ports uh, well it's always difficult to choose only one uh, so from everything i visited uh, it depends in terms of uh, nature uh, i love norway now we have always also an itinerary to Iceland, which is also beautiful. We'll go back to Asia, one of my favorite areas also in the world. Um, Mediterranean, we go there, and in terms of uh, history and the monuments, uh, of course, uh, it's one of the best places we can visit the whole Europe. But it's difficult really to to find one one of one place, choose only one port. Yes. 
I think most people just think the captain just navigates the ship, but you're kind of in charge of everybody on the ship, the entire yes. crew, right? So, so what other things do you have to deal with? Well, we have all the, the management uh, of the yacht uh, in terms of safety, security. Uh, so, in fact, the captain is more a, a manager of a, of a small company. Uh, and sometimes we need to come here to the bridge to, to enjoy also being at sea uh, and having some fun, of course, because our background is nautical. Uh, and sometimes we need to stop the paperwork and the reports and come here and just enjoy the breeze. So what kind of guests does Windstar attract compared to other cruise lines? Well, normally uh, our guests who, who don't want uh, much confusion, let's say, uh, many people, so uh, high quality product uh, and uh, at the same time have a calm atmosphere where you can relax. We have open decks, not like uh, some ships, uh, like, like a closed box. So we have open decks, they can be around relaxing. Um, with a fantastic service, um, so this uh, are a different uh, guests with a, with a good quality and not so much uh, to to discos and uh, entertainment and uh, <laughs> confusion, stress to go to the restaurant, stress to come in and out of the of the ship. So a calm atmosphere with, a, of course, a, a very high quality. Okay, no discos on board. <laughs> no discos. We have music, we have a duo, we have a, a band. Of course we dance because we are happy, uh, but not uh, full of uh, uh, 2,000, 3,000 uh, yeah. passengers in a, around the disc on the restaurant. Okay. All right, well, thank you for telling us about windsurf, Captain, and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you very much. My pleasure.